Good afternoon everybody. Another day done at Royal Glamorgan Hospital. An interesting day, a very busy morning in clinic. Uh, I spoke to seven patients around the whole clinic myself, which is the first time I've done that. Oh, that takes it out of you. That's a lot of talking, especially when everyone answers and everyone needs the full 30 minutes. But it was a really good experience. I saw a range of conditions, so we had a lot of decompensated liver disease. Uh, now I feel very confident in the management of that. Largely focuses on getting enough calories in, um, in particular looking at regular carbohydrates. So one of the things I'd learned previously was when someone does have a, a liver that isn't functioning quite as we'd like it to, it struggles to provide the body with hepatic uh, glycogen, so glucose that's stored in the liver. Uh, so an analogy someone told me previously was to think of a car with a fuel tank and the fuel tank's leaking a little bit. So if you can imagine for those particularly long periods where we're not putting fuel into the car, eating, then the uh, amount of glycogen, the fuel can run quite low and people start to feel tired. Or what does happen is the body looks for other sources of fuel. So in this case, it might either be fat or in extreme circumstances, it can start to break down muscle as well. And that's where we see if patients aren't eating regularly, they can become cachexic, so they lose a lot of their lean muscle mass. So uh, that was useful learning. Great to put it into practice, and especially with so many patients, uh, really cemented my learning. So enjoyed that. Also saw someone for bile acid malabsorption. Hadn't heard of this before. Management's quite similar to nutrition support and um, also focusing on reducing the amount of fat in the diet as well. So we were able to do that. Uh, patient was really engaged with the conversation, so that made it easy and uh, enjoyable. And again, great to speak to a range of patients, even though some of the conditions were the same, individual circumstance just completely changes your management. So that's something I'm really starting to enjoy learning how to do. But uh, yeah, that's it for the morning. And then it was right up in this afternoon. That takes a long time, just writing to the referrers, the GP, the consultants to let them know what the plan was, what you found, and what the ongoing management's going to be. And also this afternoon, we had our uh, uh, online session with the new streamlining service for jobs. So lots of questions were asked. Uh, it did clarify quite a bit, it was useful. It's gonna be interesting to see when it comes to it, how it works. I'm hoping it'll be for the benefit of everyone. Um, at least we don't have to write multiple applications, but it is very soon. Uh, one of the comments I made earlier is, we're going to be assigned our, our job, hopefully, as long as uh, everything's okay, way before we get our course results. So that does make the grade a little bit redundant, it feels, which is a shame. Uh, you know, I think everyone on the course likes to do well, and I'm, I'm sure the effort's still gonna be put in, but I, I guess you could say it takes the pressure off a bit. It means as long as you pass, really, that's not a big part of it. I know people have said that before about courses, that it's more a case of just getting your registration. It's not about the grade. And a lot of it is based on, you know, your, your experiences, what you can evidence and how you come across in interview. So that's going to kind of be the next couple of weeks now is just doing interview prep and uh, getting the application up. Uh, we've got to do four sections uh, there. What did they say? It wasn't evidence. It was values based questions. Um, four of them that are 800 words. So that's going to be quite a bit of writing. So that's almost an assignment within itself. How much from our personal statements we've been doing, I can leverage over to that i'm not sure but uh yeah we'll wait to see and uh, you know just shows it's not long left now we're almost to the end of the course so back here tomorrow anyway um not sure what i'm doing so i'll have a look at the calendar when i get in and uh be ready for our last other week because we're off on friday then so speak to you soon